Hey guys, EBV Man here, and in today's video we're reviewing the Nebula Cosmo 4K portable projector with 360 Dolby Digital Sound. This projector would be an awesome upgrade to any Super Bowl party. It's so portable that you can use it in your home or take it to a friend's home too. Now the Cosmo 4K projector will take the Super Bowl event from this to this with its vivid colors and 150 inch image capability. Now, no matter what your lighting conditions, the Nebula Cosmo 4K projector performs well in lit rooms. And if you can block the blinds somewhat, you can get a great image. If you can display this at nighttime, the image is amazing too. Things just get better and better based on your lighting conditions. Now, I'm projecting on an ALR screen. This ALR screen rejects lights from all areas except where the projector is projecting. And you can see how fantastic this image looks. Now this projector is around eight feet from my screen and it's projecting a hundred inch image, but don't forget, it could go up to 150 inches. It also has Android TV built in. So that means no streaming sticks, no cable box needed. Connect it to your network, install your favorite streaming service and you're ready to go. Now, as you can see here with my blinds open, the projector is projecting extremely well. As you close the blinds, obviously the blacks get deeper, the colors become more vibrant. And then when you have this in complete darkness, you can see that the images pop even more. Now, again, this projector is no more than eight feet away from the actual screen. It's somewhere in the middle of my living room. So this projector, while it's not an ultra short throw, it is a short throw projector because it doesn't need a significant distance in order to project. Now this is a native 4K projector with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. The lumens or the brightness is 1500 lumens with a 1000 ANSI lumen projection rating. The LED is 3000 hours of life. So that's a long time. You don't really have to worry about changing a bulb or worrying about the LED whatsoever. Now from a port perspective, you have several ports. You have HDMI 2.0, which is gonna give you up to 4K input. You also then have USB-A so that you can uh, connect and launch maybe pictures or let's say video uh, straight from the sticks. And then you also have optical out. So you can expand this or connect this to any kind of sound bar solution or surround sound system that uses optical as an output. Now the speakers are really good too. You can even use this as a Bluetooth speaker if you like. The speakers are 40 watts. It uses Wi-Fi to connect and you have 802.11 A, B, G, N, and AC. Uh, it's running Android TV 9.0 and it also supports Google System. It has a really cool remote that has all of the modern controls that you would expect, which also includes Google Voice if you'd like to control the projector with your voice. Now, one of the benefits of this projector is the fact that it has Android TV built in. No streaming sticks are required, no boxes to connect. Literally, you just connect this to Wi-Fi and you're set to go. Now in the upper right hand corner of the screen you'll have access to your inputs that you can switch really easily. So you do have access to your two HDMI ports. You also have access to the settings area. And let's take a look at some of the settings that you may want to change when you get this projector. Now in the projection settings area you have the ability to modify or adjust the picture settings. And in this area you're going to find standard brightness controls, contrast controls, as well as picture modes. So you can change it from a standard uh, projection mode or picture mode to movie mode and also office mode if you're going to be doing like PowerPoint presentations and things of that nature. In the advanced area, you can modify the saturation, hue, gain, as well as gamma. Now, one of the neat features is that the projector comes with settings that will adjust and provide the best image quality based on the wall color you have. Now, in my case, I'm projecting off of an ALR screen. That's an ambient light rejection screen that's really going to make the colors pop and rejects light all the way around it. But if you don't have one of those, uh, when you go into this area, you can basically define what color your wall is. And the projector will do its best to adjust its color and its performance based on the background that it's presenting on. Now, the fact that this projector is extremely portable, it has Android TV built in and has a built-in speaker means that you can take this to any Super Bowl party or any party for that matter. Uh, now, one of the biggest challenges that I find when setting up a projector in a different location is getting the right focus. This has autofocus, so check this out. I'm just gonna go into the autofocus area and it's gonna go ahead and automatically adjust the focus until it gets the best possible image. Now, depending on your use, you also have projection mode. And in the projection mode area, you have the ability to set front projection, rear projection, inverted rear projection, and inverted front projection. So you have lots of different options depending on if you're presenting in front of a screen or from the back of a screen. Now you do have some options where you can modify the audio settings. So we'll go into the audio settings here. So you can either have it automatic, which is what I have, or you can actually choose your um, output. We do have an, op an optical out. So if you want to connect this to a sound bar and make this more of a permanent fixture, you can. 
Now you also have the ability to configure your HDMI settings. So if we go into HDMI, you can see you have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, you have CEC settings that you can go into and also alter and adjust. Um, and then you also have HDMI 2.0 and you'll be able to turn that on or off. And this is something that I highly recommend that you enable because this is going to allow your device to take advantage of um, any kind of inputs like for example if you do choose to put in a blu-ray player or you do put in let's say like the the google tv or an android tv uh, that you're connecting to it you'll want to get the best output so enabling hdmi 2.0 is a must now one other cool option is that you can use the projector as a bluetooth speaker uh, check this out so i'm going to go into bluetooth speaker mode switching to bluetooth speaker mode that is loud. So now what you can do is you can use, use this as a streaming device just to listen to music. Now from an audio perspective, this thing is loud, but you just have to hear it for yourself. So what we're gonna do is play a audio test that we did on our channel for some headphones. Check this out. Now from a performance perspective, the projector does extremely well. So what we're gonna do is gonna stream some YouTube. This is a review that we just recently completed on a 3D printer. Let's see how quickly it loads. Set it to go and I got some great prints. Now, for those of you who are looking at print That was fast. We'll try another one. Try this one right here. This is a smart lock. Hey. Again, super duper fast. So no worries when it comes to overall performance and streaming. Now, as we take a closer look at the projector, a couple things that I'll highlight. Once the projector is powered on, you'll have the Nebula logo here with kind of like some stars uh, showing up in this area. Um, in the back, if we flip this over right here for a couple seconds, we'll talk about all the connectivity that we just highlighted during the specs. So you have your power source, you have your uh, HDMI's that you see right here, your USB and your optical out. You also have a manual power button. And as you can see here, all of the speakers, this is the speaker system that you can see going all the way around it, is really giving you again uh, that 360 sound. Uh, this is your uh, lens area. And then for those of you who are curious about mounting the projector, you'll notice that it has a mounting system right here on the bottom. Now again, this projector is tiny. Take a look at this. This is, this is not that big at all. So when I talked about being able to take this with you to a Super Bowl party, definitely possible, especially given the autofocus technology. Uh, as soon as you put this in place, push the button, it's gonna adjust really quick. The fact that this streams, all you have to do is connect it to Wi-Fi. If you already have your streaming service on, you're set to go. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Nebula Cosmo 4K projector, a definite upgrade for this Super Bowl season. See you in the next one.